Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, there's a, there's a phrase that we hear all the time that we wanna follow in the footsteps of Jesus. And of course, this is really kind of uh, rooted in all of the scripture. And if you're a follower of Jesus, then you want to be following in the footsteps of Jesus. I always think about this, that when I was a little kid, you know, me and my dad would walk on the beach and, you know, uh, parents' footprints are bigger than children. I remember my dad's footprints were big and I would like to walk behind him and try and jump into his footsteps because I'm following my dad. And in the exact same way, if you're a follower of Jesus, then you actually want to walk in, in the footsteps of Jesus. And Jesus invited people. He said, look, if you want to be my disciple, you need to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. And so as we're moving through the world, as followers of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, then we want to walk and move through the world in the exact same way that Jesus walked and moved through the world. So it is essential that we really grapple with Jesus in the four Gospels as we see Jesus literally moving through uh, Israel at that time, all these different scenarios. And we want to be able to, in a sense, imitate Jesus. The Apostle Paul said it to the church in Corinth. He said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. And so, so Paul's saying, I'm trying to imitate Jesus. I'm trying to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. And I want you to walk in my footsteps as I'm following the footsteps of Jesus. And for us today, because we have the New Testament and the scriptures, we have very clear examples of this is how Jesus moved through the world. And then we want to emulate that, empowered by the Holy Spirit, in the world in which we live. So things like compassion and forgiveness and all these different things become the ways that we move through the world. And when we do that, we become ambassadors for Jesus because we're we're living as Jesus lived. And we're also those living epistles that people are reading. I love to remind people that our lives are the only Bible that a lot of people will ever read. So we really want to make sure that we are really walking in those footsteps of Jesus. This is what we do. I want, first, I want you to share this video because we want everyone who calls themselves by the name of Jesus to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. And then in the comment section, I want you to tag somebody who you see is really trying to follow Jesus closely, not at a distance, but really step in the, in, in the steps of what Jesus is doing. And I want you to thank them for that testimony and that witness and encourage them to keep on following close after Jesus. And God bless you today.